Science Year 3, Unit 6, Measurement Measuring the volume of liquid The volume of an irregular shaped solid Lim, Langi, and Aisha bought a carton of milk. They want to know whether the volume of the carton of milk is the same as the label on the carton. The volume of the carton of milk is 200 milliliters. Is the volume exactly 200 milliliters? Let's measure it. What are the suitable tools for measuring the volume of liquid? The volume of liquid can be measured using a measuring cylinder or a beaker. Lim, Langi, and Aisha measure the volume of the carton of milk. The volume is 210 milliliters. No, the volume is 190 milliliters. My volume reading is exactly 200 milliliters. Who has the correct volume reading? Why? The correct reading was taken by Aisha because the position of her eyes is at the level of the meniscus. The meniscus is the curve on the surface of the liquid in a container. This picture shows the meniscus of liquid. What is the reading for the volume of liquid in this picture? The eye level is at the level of the meniscus. So for this one, the reading is 32 ml 32 How much liquid is in the container? The answer is 3 liters This one This is the meniscus So the reading is 16 ml one more. This one, the reading of the volume is yes, 18 ml. Write out the volume of liquid in this container. This one is 350 milliliters. 600 ml and last one the answer is 38 ml the volume of an irregular shaped solid our next topic is to find the volume of an irregular shaped solid before we start let us watch a video Jeff and Eddie are walking through the garden. Jeff picks up a stone and shows it to Eddie. Jeff tells Eddie that the stone he is holding has an irregular shape. It is an irregular solid. He wants to find out the volume of this irregular solid. The simplest method to determine the volume of an irregular solid is through the water displacement method. Fill in a measuring cylinder with some water. Then, record the initial water level. Next, lower an irregular shaped object slowly into the measuring cylinder. Record the final water level in the measuring cylinder. The difference between the final water level and the initial water level in the measuring cylinder is the volume of the stone. In this example, the volume of the stone is 20 milliliters. Another way to measure the volume of large, irregular objects is by using a Eureka can. Add water to the Eureka can until the water is about to overflow. 
Then place a measuring cylinder under the spout. Slowly place the object in the can. Collect the water displaced and find the volume of the stone. In this example, the volume of the stone is equal to the volume of the displaced water, and it is equal to 100 milliliters. The volume of an irregular shaped solid. How do we find out the volume of an irregular shaped solid? The volume of an irregular shaped solid is determined by the water displacement method. The volume of the displaced water equals to the volume of the object. Water displacement method 1. Initial volume of water is 20 ml. Put in the stone, the water becomes 30 ml. Volume of the stone equals to final volume of water minus initial volume of water. 30 ml minus 20 ml. So the answer is 10 ml. The volume of displaced water equals to 10 milliliter. Means the volume of the stone is 10 milliliter. Water displacement method 2. We can use the Eureka can to measure the volume of stone. We fill the water in the Eureka can until the level of opening. Then we put in the stone and then we find out the volume of displaced water. The volume of displaced water equals to the volume of stone. In the topic of volume, we have learned to measure three types of volume. The first one, volume of hollow box. We measure volume of hollow box by using one cubic centimeter cubes. And then the volume of liquid. Measure the volume of liquid using beaker and cylinder. And last one, volume of irregular shaped solid by using the water displacement method. That's all for this lesson. See you again and thank you.